All right, so in today's lesson, we're going to talk about the volley. In the game of pickleball, we hit lots and lots of volleys. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about the traditional punch or push volley. The punch and the push volley is the volley that you're going to be hitting for the majority of the time up at the non-volley zone line. So there's many things that are really important that we're going to go over and a few things that you may be doing that might cause pop-ups and errors. So we'll talk about that as well. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we want to know when we're talking about volleys is the grip, all right? So continental grip is the preferred grip because this is the grip that you can use to hit forehand and backhand volleys, all right? So we'll show a quick picture of a continental grip right now. All right, now that we have the correct grip for the traditional volley, now we want to make sure that we have the correct grip pressure, okay? So for most volleys, I'm going to have a medium grip pressure, okay? So uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm not gripping it as tight as I can, which would be a 10, okay? I'm probably halfway, around five or so. Okay? You wanna have a pretty firm grip when you're volleying, but also not too tight so that you also get the feel, okay? It's really important that when we're volleying up at the non-volley zone line, that we hit everything out in front, all right? As you can see here, um, if I'm contacting the ball, I want to make sure that it's out in front of our body, okay? So we don't want to let those balls come in here, really close here uh, to our body because we're going to get jammed up. Hi, if you're really liking this content, go ahead and give this video a like. It really helps us out. Now, let's get right back to the video. Another thing that you'll notice when I'm hitting the volley, whether it's a forehand on the side or a backhand volley, is that my paddle face is open. Now, what does that mean? Basically, you can see in this camera angle here, I don't typically want to hit volleys like this, okay? Because hitting it down and if we're, especially if we're pushing down like this, that goes right into the net. The majority of our volleys, especially when players are driving the ball at you from the baseline, we want to be pushing out on that ball and have this paddle face open. So you'll see for the majority of my shots, whether I'm hitting a forehand like this or a backhand like this, this paddle face is open and probably around 45 degrees, give or take, and we're gonna be adjusting that slightly, okay? Obviously, if we need to push that ball out deeper into the court, we gotta have that paddle face a little bit more open and we're pushing. Remember, we're just pushing out from the shoulder here, okay? So what we wanna do as technique-wise, we're in a ready position here, okay, around belly button level, and then that ball's coming to me, all I'm doing is turning it and I'm pushing it out. You can see like this. Notice when I'm volleying like this uh, with my backhand here or my forehand, notice that the paddle angle doesn't change, right? I'm keeping a consistent paddle angle and I'm pushing through contact. And all I'm doing, remember, is pushing out, okay? On this forehand side, same thing. I'm pushing here, pushing from my shoulder here and the backhand right here. So you'll, you'll feel it here in the shoulder here maybe a little bit in the tricep muscle here, where all we're doing is pushing out towards our target, okay? We're meeting the ball out in front and we're just pushing really, really firmly. I have a pretty firm grip and the biggest thing is that we are not having a lot of extra movement on our volleys. A lot of times I see players flicking the wrist or doing this kind of thing, dropping their paddle head down. I'll, I'll see a lot of this, okay, or a lot of this, okay? All I'm doing is pushing out like this, or I'm pushing out like this. All right, so now I wanna quickly go into a couple of nuances of this volley, and I think a lot of players make mistakes or pop up the ball 
when I see them do this, okay? Now, we talk about contact point in the game of pickleball. It's really, really important. Every time we're contacting the ball, no matter what shot we hit, we wanna ideally be out in front of our body, okay? Specifically, when I'm working with the lower level players and even intermediate level players, what happens is they tend to either pop up the ball or as they're hitting the ball, they're sending it wide and it's not going to the desired target. The issue and the problem I see is that players are hitting their volley and they're hitting their volley way too out in front, right? So yes, we want our contact point to be right out in front, but I think around this area, if it's a lower ball here, you know, this is about a foot to a foot and a half in front of me and I have the power and control right here, okay? You can see I have a little bit of bend in my elbow here, okay? And I'm not fully extended. So if I'm hitting a volley up here, right? Same thing, I'm pushing out towards my target. Now, I wanna contact it right around here. There's a good power and comfort zone right around this area. Now, what I see, sometimes players are really anxious or they're getting driven the ball and the ball's coming really, really fast. So they're trying to really meet that ball way out in front. So what happens, I just wanna show you, if you are contacting the ball as volleys like this, okay, first of all, you, you lose some power because your arm is already full extension, okay? So your timing has to be perfect. And because when you get to this point, you lose the power, right? The, the power comes from the push. So I want to, contact and hit it right here, okay? So the two things that I see, when players are trying to volley the ball, if they're fully extended, I want you to see how that paddle face, instead of here, when they're fully extended, it drops and it kind of curves up. You can see that here. So at this point, even though they're contacting the ball out in front, I see them push it, push it out, and then by the time they hit it, because they're fully extended, that paddle face is facing up and that ball pops up. So that's something we really want to be cautious about. Now, the same kind of thing with overextending and have your contact point too far out in front. You can see from this angle here, if I'm pushing or if I'm volleying the ball here, okay, and then as you can see, I'm doing a good job. My paddle face is, you know, is, is open and, and then I'm pushing out if I contact the ball way out in front here, you can see, see where my paddle is facing. It's facing towards my right side. So a lot of times I see a lot of this too. Players are trying to volley the ball. They're doing a good job trying to keep the ball in front. But if you're too early, if you're not letting that ball come to your body, you're contacting it here. And look at that, that paddle goes way over there and it's not going to go to the desired target. So let that ball come in to your body a little bit. Remember, around a foot, a foot and a half to two feet, right around this area is where we wanna hit the ball. That's why a good ready position, what I talk about in a lot of our videos. We wanna be around this belly button area, a little bit favor to the backhand, and as that ball is coming, we're pushing out right here. Just right here, boom, boom, as a backhand. And if same thing with a forehand, we don't wanna to be too far ahead, okay? So now it's gonna be face that that contact point, the paddle face is gonna be faced towards the left, right? We don't wanna be reaching and contacting the ball here. We, want, we need to wait for that ball, let it come in, contact it right here, okay? For the backhands, it's right here. Now, last thing, which is really gonna help, obviously, wherever your paddle is faced during contact, that's where the ball is gonna go. So if we are volleying right down the line, we wanna make sure that as we push our paddle out, that it's facing our target down the line. Pushing our paddle out on our forehand, it's facing our target if we are going down the line. All right, so hopefully that helps and hopefully this video helps a lot and it kind of shows you some of the things that you may be doing that is causing some inconsistencies and also maybe causing some pop-ups for you and your partner. So thanks again for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now.